Thank you, Alice. I appreciate those remarks. So I thought I'd try and wind the clock back a little bit, and I noticed uh, as, as time has passed, my idea of winding the clock back is a shorter and shorter amount of time. So for me, winding the clock back in this case goes to 09, when I was talking uh, and thinking about whether or not I really wanted to take on the job as provost. And one of the things I discussed very publicly was the need for an institution of our complexity. And, and really, this is a very complex institution. There's a pressing need to periodically take a look at how one does business and how does one do that in the greater context of the mission of the institution. I mean, we're here for uh, the education of the citizens of the state of Wisconsin and beyond, and our entire purpose is to have the Wisconsin idea be the central focus of that. So in that context, it's important to take a look at exactly how the different systems work. Are they doing what we anticipate they're doing? Could we make improvements and suggestions to do that? Now, that wasn't done in isolation, okay, and I'll come to that point in a minute. But at that time, in 09, it was also readily apparent that we were going to be faced with some significant difficulties and challenges with respect to the budget. That was completely apparent uh, in 09 that we were on a trajectory to experience some significant challenges in the budget area, and we needed to prepare ourselves to do that. Well, that was another reason to think very hard about taking a look at every aspect of our system, and it was a significant driver for us to do this. So there are many components to, to this. Academic, uh, uh, pardon me, administrative excellence is one component, but there's also educational innovations. Uh, there are curricular and significant changes with respect to our academic programs to improve our effectiveness and our efficiency and our reach and delivery. There are aspects of how we deal with ourselves institutionally vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the state institutions and the state government. All of these fit together as part of the one puzzle. And in fact, since 09, we've been systematically dealing with this broad range of activities, not just administrative excellence, not just educational innovation. The whole point was to achieve a, a more effective, efficient, and targeted organization. And we're well on our way to do that. Now, turning back to the administrative excellence part, uh, the intent here was to couple internal expertise with external guidance. Uh, you know, people have this, and I, I'm probably the number one gold star caring person, you know, I prefer to invent everything myself, and I frankly don't believe anyone else did anything right. right? That, that's sort of our default position, and we talk ourselves away from that if we work real hard at it. Well, that obviously doesn't make some, much sense. Other institutions are fully capable of reaching uh, clever and thoughtful ways of attacking problems. The advantage, therefore, of a consultant group that has had a broad range of experience uh, and can bring to the table that experience in an unbiased and open manner is extraordinarily helpful to this process. And hence, that led to the uh, uh, enrollment of Huron Consulting into this process because of their wide experience in academic institutions. And then the point was to pick uh, a handful of targeted areas where we could have the greatest impact. Now, greatest impact is like, uh, you know, chi-square, right? I mean, greatest impact in what area? Is it financial? Is it academic programs? Is it uh, employee satisfaction? What is that area? Well, in fact, it generally includes all of those areas. Uh, in some cases, the impact will be driven almost exclusively by financial considerations because that's what that area happens to be about. Others refer to our ability to do our jobs. The IT infrastructure, for example, in many ways rests on our ability to effectively and efficiently use that armamentarium in accomplishing our tasks. Okay, so the, the desired outcome was an improvement in the broadest sense of the institution. In many cases, it was financially driven, in other cases, organizationally, in other cases, academic. And we're still turning that process, and we can expect to continue to turn that process over in the next year. The final point on this is you'll notice that there, over time there will be a shift in a consultative relationship with uh, organizations such as a Huron and a self-help and organizational mechanism internally because we are skilled at doing many of these things. Once we understand the lay of the land, our solution uh, achieving capabilities are frankly as good as anyone's. 
So there's no necessarily region to, to push it beyond that. So you try and get from each group what you can get from each group. And, and the trick on all of this is to step back far enough so that you see everything that's going on and how it helps the different aspects of what we're trying to do. So you're going to hear from seven targeted areas. Uh, I think uh, for the most part, sometimes the results were obvious. They were things that were apparent that we should be doing. There were things that were less obvious and uh, have an impact in subtle ways that we hadn't appreciated doing. Uh, so I think you'll find as you go through the morning that uh, the results are quite exciting and for the most part, uh, will take us to a different place, a place that we think will be much better. And so I hope you interact heavily. There, I know there's a lot of the teams that are obviously present, but there's a lot of other people participating. I hope you'll you know, seek to learn and understand uh, the efforts and appreciate uh, the future that might come as a result of these strong efforts. Keep in mind, though, that it, the AE is embedded in a greater change mechanism, which includes educational innovations, uh, frankly, uh, shifting in some of the purposes and underlying thrust areas academically, efficiencies with respect to how we run our processes of, for example, even enrolling people in our institution is a, is a tremendous technical challenge that we face annually. So I'll stop talking and invite my close colleague and friend to the platform, Daryl Bazell, to talk more explicitly about some aspects. Daryl?